Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's YouTube video, we're gonna talk about free software that you can use for your video editing, especially if you're gonna be doing video for YouTube. Now in a previous older video, I talked about the best overall software for video editing. Today we're gonna to talk about the free stuff. I know a lot of YouTubers don't have the budget for the type of programs that I use, which are Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro. And there are cheaper solutions out there that I'll cover in a whole nother video like Adobe Premiere Elements and Corel Video Editor. But again, I will cover those in detail in a whole other video. Today, we're just gonna talk about free software and we're gonna focus on three of them. We're gonna focus on iMovie for the Mac. We're gonna focus on Windows Movie Maker for Windows. And we're going to talk about another free editing software called Lightworks and why I don't recommend it. So most of you are familiar with iMovie and Windows Movie Maker. You know that these free software exist. What you may not know is that many YouTubers today still use them and got their start on them. And these programs are perfectly fine for you doing basic vlogging style videos and even a little bit of the commercial stuff as well. There are companies that actually take advantage of this software for their YouTube channel. So these programs aren't bad. There are limitations, however. For one thing, you don't get multi-track editing. What that means is you can't sit there and do multiple layers of video stacked on top of each other. You can't do, you know, pop-up stuff on the screen. So that's gonna be a problem for you. Also, there are some issues in terms of how you utilize audio tracks when compared to the paid software. And these programs, again, they're limited in what you can do. You can only use certain video file formats with them. They don't have a lot of robust features, but they are good for someone just starting out and learning how to edit. And of course they're free. So if you're a younger person in the audience and you don't have money uh, for software or your parents can't invest in that for you, then you can still do great video editing work using the free software until you're ready to move on to something else. Now, at some point I will do tutorials on the channel with how to use these free software applications to do some basic video editing. I will have to refresh myself with them a little bit because honestly, I haven't used them in quite a while because I have access to professional grade software and intermediate software for other people. So videos that I will cover in the future in terms of some lower level software just below the professional stuff are going to be things like Corel Video Editor, and Adobe Premiere Elements, which are affordable. These are programs under 50 and $100 that you can use for your video editing. I'll have links to them in the description below, so if you can afford those, that you can step up to those from your basic video editing software that came free with your computer. What I will say about iMovie is that iMovie has some pretty advanced features if you know where to look for them. You can control, for example, the look and the color grading of your videos in iMovie to create a film look for your videos. In Windows Movie Maker, you can't necessarily do that, but there are features for making your own titles and that can come in handy as well. And it does have some interesting transitions and wipes that you can use for your videos or for presentations. So I would say that that's pretty cool for free software. And it's come a long way from what it was back in the day. Now, as for Lightworks, Lightworks is competitive with higher end software. My problem with it is that it's just too complicated for beginners. You could use it, but again, the interface is clunky, it's super complicated, and it's not nearly as intuitive as the other two programs, and that's why I personally don't recommend it. But if you have good experiences with Lightworks, I don't wanna say don't use it. I'm just saying that if you find Windows Movie Maker and iMovie to be easier, then use that until you can afford professional grade software or intermediate software, something from Adobe or Corel or uh, Final Cut from Apple, something like that. Or there might be some other um, applications that I might cover that come out of the iTunes App Store that might be affordable for you as well. In terms of free software for screencasting, because some of you want to just record tutorials like I do, well, there are some free programs that you can use for that. If you have a Mac, you can use QuickTime and that will record your screen. If you want to use it on Windows, QuickTime won't work there, but you can use Cam Studio, which is a free application for screen recording that you can use. I had some success with that years and years ago with uh, some of my first Photoshop tutorials. So I would recommend either of those for screen recording and capturing what's going on on your computer screen. And both of those applications are completely free. 
I believe you can also use Cam Studio on Mac. I'm not gonna swear to that, but I do know that works on Windows. And like I said, you can use QuickTime and the screen recorder there if you're on a Mac. If you want to use um, the eyesight cam on your mac computer and just kind of do vlogging that way you can also use quicktime to do that as well in the uh, movie recorder mode so that is something that you can take advantage of that's free and can let you do some simple vlogging with your webcam also don't forget that youtube has a built-in video editor so you could always just upload your videos directly to youtube and do your cuts and your edits there it also has some filters and some effects, so you should definitely check those out as well. So that's my take on some of the best video editing software you can get for free, especially if you're a YouTuber. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, definitely leave those in the comments section below. If there are um, video editing applications that you want me to start doing tutorials for, let me know in the comments section and I will try and get to those and post those up on the channel. I have a walkthrough on Adobe Premiere Pro if you guys are interested in that and you want to use that software, you're in the trial. I go from beginning to end on how you edit a video and export it for YouTube. So make sure you check that out. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below for you. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today.